Hey guys, hola, welcome to day two. We are having an amazing time out here by the beach. The beach of Barcelona is gorgeous, just like everywhere in Europe. And today, we're checking out some tasty treats whilst bike riding. Woo! As you can see, we're taking a lovely bike ride throughout the town. We started in Old Town, also known as the Gothic Quarter. And now we're gonna head down to the beach, probably show off our moves, have some fun, and then definitely gonna be hitting up some paella today. So we're bringing some of you some of the tasty traditional cuisines of the area. Uh, we're actually in what is known as Catalan, uh, the region of uh, I guess Spain, but they want to be their own country. Pretty interesting fact there. But other than that, guys, I'm going to bring you some riding fun. Ow! This is gorgeous. <laughs> so the park we're in, the fountain you saw, is called the Fountain of the Park. Guys! So we have these amazing architects and they name things very originally. No problem with that, it shows the creativity and where at least like to apply all this imagination of theirs. You've got to get me a puppy, I swear, take it off holes like that. <laughs> all right, France, eat your heart out. Check it out, Spain's got its own Arc de Triomphe. True story. That's the third one I've seen after the one in Washington Square Park, two in New York. These things are multiplying. Boy. But this is not the case, and that's why I love this art. This is a sieve. Alright friends, so interestingly, this Arc de Triomphe is made out of brick and it was more to do with the fact that it was celebrating Muslims and the Arabic style of architecture as opposed to the ones you see with the sandstones and the big blocks. So that's a pretty interesting fact. It's also the actual start of uh, effectively Barcelona. So Lady Barcelona is up there and it kind of symbolizes the entrance to the, to the town. This used to actually have the walls of like the main entrance as well and this was the actual main entrance itself so you know it's more about civil war uh, celebration as opposed to i guess uh, army of war but it's pretty interesting and it's beautiful very different you know it celebrates peace go barcelona we now hit the beach of barcelona and it is gorgeous you know me i love my beaches pretty amazing shirts off bikinis you all know how much I love water. Wow. Spain. <laughs> Fun fact, before the 1992 Barcelona Olympic Games, this was like where people used to kind of, from factories live, and it was very derelict, you know, it was very uh, polluted. So after 92 games, everything got really well kept and looked after, and now it's a very gorgeous beach. 25 years ago, this was terrible. No one used to come to the beach. People who were like 70 years old never went to the beach in Barcelona. You guys ask me how I train when I travel. I just come to places like Barcelona where they have these things by the beach. That's a win win. about the external and internal obliques. You know, just make sure you get a like, really good rotation. It also looks funny, which helps. I wonder if we're gonna gain any attraction to it. So after our bike ride, we're now heading off to a request from myself. You guys know how much I love my coffee. Here in Spain, just like Italy, it's quite a pastime. So I wanna have a genuine espresso on the streets of Barcelona and making sure that I enjoy it. I'm gonna capture a few images for you guys. It is a must. You have to enjoy this. You have to soak in the atmosphere. And just to be honest, being around sandstone buildings, the whole ambience, it's gorgeous and it's espresso, so you can't lose. Quinny's allergic to coffee, so I'm no just gonna have two for him. I'll have a beer. Have a beer. <laughs> so we found a cute little coffee spot. It is called Mr. Robinson, and it's uh, on, I can't even tell you the street name, probably can't even pronounce it, but it's pretty much in the heartland of Barcelona. We're gonna sit up at the bar, grab an espresso, some of the guys here grab some cakes and some smoothie bowls. But you know I'm doing authentic stuff.
That moment you forget to take a video of the actual espresso being enjoyed. Don't worry, I took plenty of photos. Well, actually, Hayden took the photos. I drank the coffee. Um, but I'll be bringing more espresso shots throughout the trip. It was delicious, amazing experience, and now we're off to have a paella. Ow! So here is our paella place. It's called Salamanca, or Salamancha. I don't actually know how to pronounce it, but it looks pretty authentic, especially when it has crabs and all forms of seafood out the front. Look at these prawns. That is what I'm talking about. Need a hand? When it comes to Spain, it's uh, one of the most traditional dishes is a paella. You can get like chorizo, chicken, we're going to get seafood and we're also going to get a meat one. But seafood, particularly around this area, is much more dominant just due to the fact it's quite close to the coast. Uh, and it's really exciting because what you do is the bottom, you've got this thing called sokara, which is this crispy texture thing. Almost like overkill the bottom. And so then when you dig your spoon in, you get this crispy texture thing and you get stuck in the back of your throat. It's always the best thing. So sokara from a paella, winning. All right, team, we've just finished up our lovely lunch at Saban Gyoka. Salamanca. Salamanca. It was fantastic. We had two different types of paella, as you can see right here. We did one that was from the mountains and then traditional seafood. So we had deliciousness, color, all these amazing oils and juices from all different types of ingredients. So in summation, you must have a paella, whether you are in Spain, Australia, New Zealand, Italy, I'm thinking, pretty sure they do them in Italy, but regardless, when you come to Spain, make sure you have a paella. Uh, so there's plenty around town. My tip is if you're paying anything over 25 bucks, you're getting ripped. Go to the Gothic Quarter, go to Little Indrant Seats, and you'll find something tasty and authentic.